Now, we're in 2016, and there's a new dilemma. It's between traditional IT on one side and new apps on the other one. Gartner Group refers to this as bimodal IT. So you have mode one being traditional IT and mode two being new apps. And there's a big divide here when you look at how you run your traditional IT and how your DevOps, oftentimes renegades organizations, want to organize how they want to run things and how they want to basically build their applications and new applications. It's a little bit like looking at an apples to oranges comparison. So we've been hard at work at this problem and, and, and worked with uh, some of you. We worked with um, industry partners and figuring out what do we do here. And really what we believe we've come up with is a way to bridge mode one and mode two. There's a couple of elements to this, but one of the key elements to this is Netscaler CPX, which we announced yesterday. This is basically Netscaler in a Linux container, Netscaler in a Docker environment, Netscaler that you can give in thousands of instances to your developers at a very low cost. And it makes sure that you can integrate into how you operate and run the rest of your IT. So hope you're excited about the new Netscaler CPX. Yeah. So, so, uh, so if we look at kind of the, the new apps paradigm, DevOps movement, SDN, tell us a little bit about what you guys are, are thinking when it comes to that. Yeah, you know, we, uh, DevOps, we've embarked on that journey about a little over two years ago right now and the Agile development uh, uh, movement. Uh, if you think about you know, DevOps, if you think about cloud, if you think about containerization, if you think about open source, all of these things are changing the, 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 what we have known in traditional IT. Things are turning upside down. So we have to start reevaluating how we design and architect our applications and how we deploy these applications. So at Humana, what we are thinking about this is how do you do that when you're trying to define software-defined networks, when you start to use public and private clouds, and start to use containers. So we are trying to bridge that, those two modes by creating automation and orchestration within our data center. Hmm. We envision a time when one of our programmers programmatically is able to actually subscribe for two or three or four web servers, put them behind a net scaler, right? And be able to integrate that into Microsoft Release Manager, get the code, deploy it, initiate a battery of user acceptance testing. If it passes, re-inject that web server back into net scaler and do the same thing over and over. Now, hearing you talk about NetScaler CPX, it opens a whole new dimension to me. It starts thinking, if I'm going to think about containers, if I'm thinking about off-prem, I would like to have that same control and capability I have with NetScaler, with off-prem and with uh, container applications. That's fantastic to hear. So, so first of all, thanks for, uh, for the partnership throughout all the years, and, and thanks for joining me here on stage. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. So what we just heard Amin talk about is how they are looking at bridging between the traditional IT environment and the new apps environment. I've talked through um, how we are looking at the different net scalers, MPX, VPX, SDX, and CPX, and how you basically leverage this in your environment moving forward. And you're probably going to have a picture a little bit like this, where you're going to have tens, hundreds of MPXs, SDXs. You're going to have uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of, of virtual VPXs, and then you're going to have tens of thousands of CPXs. Some of you will have much more than that. And, and with that, you get a whole new management challenge on your hand. And it's a little bit like when we look at it and say the transition from pet to cattle. Well, pet, you have, you know, you might have one dog, you might have two dogs, and they have names. This one is Fido, Toby. Uh, and if they get sick, you nurture them back to health. You might take them to a doctor. Now, in a cattle farm, um, it's a little different. And if the animals get sick and 
here I got, I got to remember, I have a bunch of Indian friends, so I always got to talk very nice about cows. So uh, you basically spin up new instances. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, so you design for failure. And um, you simply just, it's readily available. You just make it available. So what you really need here moving forward is something totally different. And that's why we've given you net scalar mass. Net scalar mass, or mass in Spanish, means more. It means more net scalars you're going to manage. It means more integration you're going to do to automation engines, orchestration engines, whether that's OpenStack, Cisco ACI, NSX, etc. And it's also a whole new system for analytics. So when you look at all the data going through NetScaler, how can you optimize and analyze that? Look, think about what you're going to do with IoT, et cetera. We're going to talk a lot more about that in a little bit uh, in the next section here.